Hi, just welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We've got a real quick video for you today on how to make homemade butter. Um, this is a really fun activity for you to do at home, especially if you've got kids or grandkids around, because a lot of kids uh, these days have no concept of where a lot of their things come from in terms of food. Where does eggs come from? Where do you get your milk? What about your butter? So days gone by, we're bringing it forward to you. So what I've done, I'm at the end process of making butter which is really good because it allowed me to time exactly what we've done and we just about wore ourselves out. <laughs> so um, it's about a 20 minute process to get to the stage that I'm at right now. So let me tell you what we did at stage one in order for you to get here and we'll open it up and show everything to you. Now, if you buy raw milk or have raw milk from a cow, which we will, we're getting a dairy cow here in a couple of weeks, we've got her on the way, um, which obviously the goal is to get raw milk. So what you do is obviously you separate the cream from the actual milk. You let it sit and you skim off the cream. When we buy raw milk, um, that's what we do. I don't have raw milk right now. So what I did for the sake of having some a butter on hand or being able to make some, um, I just bought some heavy whipping cream. I got mine from Trader Joe's. Uh, you know, this is the organic version. You can get whatever version you like. I'll toss it over there. Um, just whatever you want. Um, you can get it at any grocery store. Um, and for a fun activity at home to try out with the kids, you know, I recommend that. So you're going to get one of these, um, and it is just a pint. Okay, so what I did is I took this and made it really cold. You want to set it in the back of the refrigerator and let it get really, really cold. I'm just going to pour it into a pint jar. Simple, just a mason jar, pint jar. And what I did, which you can't see it right now, you might be able to hear it if I start shaking it. You hear that sound? Okay, well, I put a marble in here. That acts as uh, the paddle, if you will, in your whipping action. Now, back here, I have a butter churn. This is my great-great-grandmother's butter churn. I actually have the original paddle. I don't have the actual um, stick. I'm going to replace that. So we're going to probably, hopefully, be making some butter in that. It's in really good shape. So um, that's a special thing. So, But until the time being, this is what we do from time to time. My kids love this. And, you know, it's a good activity to get everybody involved in. So you're simply going to take your heavy whipping cream. You're going to put it in your jar. I drop in a marble, just one marble. You're hearing that right. It's in there. Put the lid and the ring on there, and you're going to start shaking, okay? You're just going to flip it over, and I'm telling you, you may break a little bit of a sweat. So you're going to realize real quick how the day has gone by, and the pioneers, and your great-great-grandmother, how they lived to be 102, because, you know, when you have to do this all the time, to live and you ate better, uh, you know, you're typically pretty healthy. So long story short, at about seven to eight minutes in, okay, you're going to feel it start thickening up, and you're going to be like, what in the world? Now it's making whipped cream. It will go through phases. So you have the liquid, and then it'll go through a heavy, almost set whipped cream. You could stop right there if you wanted to. We opened it up twice and checked on it, and you literally get whipped cream. You could scoop it out, put it in a bowl, put some sugar in it, put a little vanilla in there, mix it to how you like for it to taste, and you've got an awesome whipped topping. If you want to go further, then just, you know, don't do that. Keep the contents in here, keep the lid on, and you just keep going. At about 20 minutes, if you're pretty consistent, okay, and it's really thick, you feel like it's not doing anything. You won't even hear the marble. At, it's like it, start, it starts separating, okay, and it starts, you get a liquid in there, and you feel something big and thumpy in there. That's where your butter is separating from your butter milk. So that's where we're at. So let's see what we've come up with here. So all I'm going to do is take the lid off. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can you see? And I'm going to strain mine. Now, I'm not doing rocket science here, okay? So all I'm going to do, and my elbows are worn out. That right there is your buttermilk. So I'm making mashed potatoes tonight. So can, this is what I'm going to be using, Okay. Or I can save the buttermilk to make my biscuits tomorrow, whatever I want to do. So there's your buttermilk, separated from all your butter. That is homemade butter, okay? And uh, there's your buttermilk, and you can taste it. It's wonderful. Now, I have not added any salt to this. Um, some folks add salt at this point. I don't. I don't feel that it's necessary for me to do that. So what you're going to do next is you're going to rinse. You're going to come to your sink. And I got butter on my thing. You're going to get really, really cold water, and you're going to fill it up, okay? You're going to put this on there, and 
and you're going to shake it for a minute. Keep shaking it. You're rinsing it, okay? You're rinsing your, your true butter. And I may not do it. You may have to rinse it three or four times, okay? Get that off there. Strain it. You're going to keep doing this until your water is virtually clear. I find that it takes at least three times. So I'm going to, and you don't even have to put the ring on. We're tough. You can do it now. We're going to get the video done. I'm just going to shake it. And see it's starting to clear up there. I've done this with raw milk and the cream, and I've obviously done it with uh, store-bought stuff. My kids love this. Either way, my children immediately know the difference in taste. They beg for this because it's that good. I um, mean, it's unlike anything that you've used uh, probably from the store. And a lot of you guys out there that are homesteaders that have been homesteading and have dairy cows and been doing this for years. This is old trick to you. I'm not teaching you anything new. So we did four quick times. You can see real quick here, we rinsed it. And it's a little, you're going to get it on your hands and every which way. And it's really soft. Now, if you had wanted to salt this, um, some folks put the salt in before they start rinsing it. I don't. I don't even fuss with it. I don't even think it's necessary. There's so much salt every, in all of our food. And, and when I, and when I cook, um, I don't even worry about it. Now, at this point, I'm going to want to put it in the bowl. Just like so. There's a marble in here somewhere. So I've got to locate my little marble. There it is. It's blue. I always like to do a wild color so that I know I've got it out. There's my marble plop. He's not going anywhere. He's got a little butter on So this is how you can make some butter. Um, obviously, if you've never done this, this is a trick, a fun little ordeal at home to do with the kids or the grandkids or kids in the neighborhood, you will blow their minds. Uh, it is amazing. To, look how much butter we got. That's awesome. And I still think I've got a little bit. I didn't even use the whole thing. This worked really, really good. So uh, we're going to put this in our mashed potatoes tonight and on our rolls because we're making pinto beans and mashed potatoes and uh, we've got a ham cooking and everything. So I was making homemade butter and I went, I've got to make a video for y'all. So if you have never tried this, again, the whole process takes about 20 minutes. You might want to have somebody in the kitchen with you and you pass it around and you know because after about five good minutes of shaking well you're gonna feel it so i hope this helps you out i hope you try it it's so much fun check us out on facebook check us out on instagram we appreciate you subscribing to our youtube channel here and uh, we'll talk to you soon and go make your butter